This is also the moment when your coach decides he's no longer going to coach you because you quit in a fight. <laughs> he says, you can't handle a dislocated shoulder, you're out of my team. Boom, we're back. And today we're doing the fifth episode of the Basalts Breakdown. I'm your host, Tyler, with discount Al Snow. And today we're going to be determining if the moves we see on social media are real or fake. Let's get into it. Going into the first one, they're keeping it real with some Aikido. He's flipping the guy around, throws him into a crucifix, and then he's gonna bring it back to the other side, then hit him with a double arm lock. What? What? <laughs> Why are you that, always that, so confused? Well, it's that grip, that first grip that he gets, like the collar, the uh, index and thumb grip there. Oh yeah, that's... Yeah, wrist locking himself on the rotation. Yeah, that, uh, where's the real sign? That's, that's real. Boom, <laughs> Anthony declares this one real. Oh no, that's terrible. Let's go light. Also me. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he really just jacks him up, and it's not like he sets him down lightly. He's bombing with him. I actually like that uh, the guy in the black was just a security guard at the door before they needed somebody to <laughs> fill in with this match. Yeah, so that is an excellent <laughs> no-gi outfit. <laughs> gi oh. pants, black shirt, yeah. riding up a little bit. And this is, you know, a welcoming to the Nogi division. Yeah, hey, can I pull guard? Absolutely you can. Here, let me help you do it. Boom. I, I think for this move, it is definitely real. And speaking of slams, let's check out this one. He's lifting him up in the air, slams him on his neck. The guy's going for a teepee choke, but he actually ends up winning the fight just from the slam. I saw this when it happened and Oh man, right on that shoulder. And what I love though is the awareness of the guy underneath as he's sitting there and he's like, ah, oh wait, some, yep, something's really wrong. Hey, I think I broke my shoulder. He's like, okay, get off me, all right. This is also the moment when your coach decides he's no longer going to coach you because you quit in a fight. <laughs> he says, you can't handle a dislocated shoulder, you're out of my team. Are you gonna do the sign honors for this one? Oh, yeah. You gotta remember, man, we're judging these moves. Yeah, that's real. Real. Now somebody's holding you in a front choke. <laughs> the real defense to defending uh, it is just slap him in the face. I love this because I love it when uh, real jujitsu players also take some fun shots because uh, it's pretty easy to see who we're uh, who we're going after here. Also, look at the power he must possess. One slap, the dude's turned all the way over and out. I feel though, you know what? That what we really need to do is this is one we might need to test on uh, that Josiah. Oh yeah, we need Josiah here. Just give him a big old whop. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll show him a different video, and then we're gonna say that's the defense we're gonna do, and then we're gonna do this one. This one gets a real. Now this guy has a lot of videos on self-defense. The only problem is with self-defense, it should actually help you instead of them by being realistic. This guy's going for a rear naked choke from the back, holds the hand out, pulls down on it, waves with both hands. Spins it behind, elbows him in the, just the chest. Oh no, so he's telling us no. So he, he's, he just doesn't have the, he, he didn't pay for the premium membership to get that little thing that says, this isn't what you do, the little X, you know, that everyone uses. So he's telling us, don't, don't try to like pull the arm away. Yeah, don't fight the arm and tuck your chin. I think it's funny because if you ever do jitsu, you'll figure out the pulling the arm down does nothing. You gotta fight the top hand, not the bottom hand. Bottom hand's just gonna squeeze a little bit tighter. I like, I like how it's neck hold defense. I like that. Like, what'd you get him with? I got him with a neck hold. I, I also like though, that after this whole thing, you know, he does the escape, he's able to get out to the side, gives him a swift elbow to the chest. He's not done there. He also whops him in the face real quick for good measure. Yeah, I like that he has a mural of himself in the background. <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> oh, I just, I had to check. I didn't know, maybe Tyler changed things up. <laughs> Anthony, what's the rating on this one? <laughs> oh, oh. Fake news. Speaking of more fake moves or moves that could be real potentially, we are heading to one that McDojo Life uploaded where the guy is using the newspaper defense to completely avoid the punch, then take his opponent down. Anthony, you're laughing like you think this move wouldn't work. Oh no, I, I think this is real. I just, I'm just picturing, you know, you're sitting on the park bench and someone comes up and just throws this really, really sweet right hand at you. And you're like, oh no. What's the rating? I think that was yesterday's news. 
<laughs> Come on. Fake news. <laughs> you are fake news. <laughs> the old spinneroo pass. This is the Basalt's Ben classic. Anytime you can't pass the guard, just spin around them. Clearly, we've seen it work for Ben numerous times. Yeah, illustrating it here on 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. Real move. Acceptance. Now this guy actually has some great jiu-jitsu as he's practiced many years with Donaher and Gordon Ryan. He's going towards deep half, goes out the back, but once he's already escaped, he's gonna throw his leg right back in there. Then he's gonna invert through, and he's sitting on an outside, cross outside Ashi. There's so much going on in this that I have no Your idea about. Your blue belt mind is just like, oh no. It's I just like, <sighs> Oh, everything about this is great. Uh, I'm just picturing, you know, me and a couple heavyweights doing this, and I'm sure it would look just that smooth. Just as good. Yeah, the body size really, it only gets better once you get heavier, I'm yeah. sure. I have to give this one a real rating. This is some solid jiu-jitsu, wonderful technique, and landing in cross outside Ashi is a great position for all those footlocks. Okay, we've got another competition. Love to see it. Hits a beautiful guillotine. Elbow as high as can be, and then he slams him down to the mat. But he didn't get the finish. Oh, I want to know. I want to know how this match played out. I want to know how this ended. Well, clearly not here. Elbow high guillotines are great. Marcelo Garcia always says to go elbow high. I'm always a big advisor for using the elbow shallow because then they can't go over your shoulder to fight it. Bet you if he had this tight grip, probably could have finished it right here. <laughs> I love chokes and more because they bring the energy every time. I love his facial expressions. Did we just, we, we, did we get the one arm, the one finger tap? He's pushing on the funny bone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The little nerve. Yeah, style points galore. The one finger shoulder lock. He's able to bring the arm to the other side, crucify him. This guy's not escaping and just a little bit of pressure <laughs> around the funny bone and he gets a quick tap. I, I'm, I'm saying you want to do the honors? Yeah, I'm giving him that. I'm going to hit that in my next, uh, I'm going to hit that next time I roll. Chokes and more, we're giving him the real. And that brings us to the end of the fifth episode of the Basalts Breakdown. I'm your host, Tyler, with discount Al Snow. And we got quite a few. And we decided what moves were real. And which moves were fake. And don't forget, if you want to get great gear from xmarshow.com, like me, check out my link in the description below so you can get awesome rash guards or t-shirts. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe.